we've covered the basics of good notes and free notes. Now we want to see all the different items you can add to your notes in the two apps and just how easy or difficult it is to do that. Hey guys, it's Dropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we we'll release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Drawing shapes in free notes is the most painful thing you ever attempt. With no ability to adjust the shape after you've drawn it, it means any mistake you make, you have to start from scratch. Fortunately, in my case, I needed some minor adjustments, so it wasn't such a big deal. The ruler tool came in handy for that because I'm trying to draw something to scale. Sadly though, resizing only got me one side of this rectangle, but adjusting the width proved impossible. So my fortune quickly turned to misfortune. With my last stroke of patience, I tried a tactic I thought could nail my first shape. Drawing accurate shapes with specific measurements is a lot of work on paper, and Freenodes has done nothing to fix that. I like that the eraser still recognized the stroke after I'd broken it up, but I certainly didn't need this right now. I wish that it could just erase this whole thing and I didn't have to manually do it. Clearly, I won't be drawing much of this plan in free notes, which is a shame because I really wanted you guys to see what I'm trying to do. But I ran out of patience because the shape tool in free notes is so bad, um, it doesn't even support irregular shapes. So, the more effort I put into this, I'm only going to get more frustrated. You have much better luck with good notes. Switching between centimeters and inches is fairly simple, much simpler than it is in free notes. And you can adjust your shapes and lines after you've drawn them. Whatever shape you draw, you can adjust it so you don't have to start over, which is what you want for a digital system like this. The lasso tool in the app has been buggy though. That is why my line keeps moving from where I put it. I hope it won't give us much trouble with this, but because of the bad lasso tool, I just thought to change my whole strategy. I really wanted to show you that even if you draw a shape with individual strokes, GoodNotes still recognizes it, which is amazing. It's certainly something you can't do with free notes. Why is GoodNotes so buggy? I'll give the app another shot after rebooting the iPad. Feels very dramatic, but GoodNotes has been acting up since the last update, and that's not been pleasant. I still couldn't draw my shape after the reboot, but thanks to the beauty of resizing and adjustment in the app, I still got the shape that I wanted. You can rotate your shapes. And even autofill them another feature you don't get in free notes the only feature missing in good notes are guidelines with support for irregular shapes curves and arrows good notes is clearly the better app for shapes but the bugs in good notes right now are very painful so i made some progress but not as much as i would have loved before i just ran out of patience well We'll redo this whole thing in a separate video 
obviously I'm not doing this in good mood, so no worries, you guys will know soon enough what I'm trying to do. I'm just not in this video, because that's not what this video is about. There's not much to work with in free notes, but I must make the most of what I have on this diagram. The app has alignment, formatting, and color options for your text. Rotating your text boxes and even duplicating them is also simple and intuitive. I would have wanted to add some text border, but the app doesn't have that. You have a lot of fonts as well. But selecting items was a bit difficult and unresponsive most of the time. If I had more to label on this diagram, I think it would have been fun because the text tool in Freenodes is more functional than its shapes tool. GoodNotes has borders and background color for your text boxes, but I knew they would need a bit of an adjustment to make them more useful because obviously they were ridiculous before this. Rotation is harder to access than it is in free notes and after doing this a couple of times you'll just want to avoid doing it all together because it's not fun when you have to do this frequently it's just too many steps to do such a simple thing you'll also miss the different lists you get in free notes because good notes does not have that for text boxes where GoodNotes saves a single text box, Freenode saves several text options, but these are just text options, not the whole text box style. I don't even know what's better because both features are just incomplete. Though I originally just wanted a border, the background in GoodNotes looks good, so I thought to change my labels in Freenodes. The app automatically sends the text box behind the shape. But I actually wanted this on top and I had no option to change this. Unlike in GoodNotes, there is no option to move this to the front. And that is definitely a useful feature that you'd want to have when you're doing this kind of thing. The text box in FreeNotes looked promising, but I like how my diagram is looking in GoodNotes. It just looks better in GoodNotes. Body text shouldn't have different features from your text boxes because it just complicates things. It's still text, just one that overlaps everything on a page, which you should probably not be using in a handwriting note taking app unless it's Apple Notes. It's really just the same thing, so it should have the same options. And Freenodes has that covered for you. You're not going to be learning new features. You don't have to remember what features are missing in the text box. I can't believe all that typing gave me less than half a page to work with. The headings are a lot easier to use in free notes. There is actually nothing different from the text tools you get for body text and those for text boxes. And this makes the app awesome. Really, really like that. GoodNotes, on the other hand, has text features reserved for body text. Bullet points are great and have varying bullet types when you indent them, unlike the super simple ones that you have in FreeNotes. You also get headings that are bigger than normal text and they are also bold. These are great features that our text boxes could use, but no. Those are strictly for body text, which I believe we don't even need in handwriting note taking app because most apps have a terrible implementation of the tool, with the exception of Apple Notes and Notability. But I'm curious to know do any of you guys use body text in your notes on the iPad? Please do let me know. Both apps let you add photos to your notes from photos. And you can drag and drop them into the apps if you want. 
Free Nurse doesn't support dragging items out of the app though, but Good Nurse had no trouble doing that. Rotating your images is better in Free Nurse because the app hasn't combined it with resizing. It really depends on what you prefer because for some it might actually be easier to do both at once and not have to do one at a time. Cropping is available in both apps as either freehand or the rectangular crop. Where FreeNotes locks your images to prevent any editing unless you unlock them, GoodNotes lets you stretch and shrink your images. No clear winner for this one. Not very exciting, but not inadequate either. I am not sure what the logic was behind the placement of stickers in FreeNotes. It baffles me. The sticker collection in the app isn't great, and the one in GoodNotes isn't either. The only comfort is that you can create your own stickers from different items on the page. For the first time ever, I actually had some ideas for stickers I can create in a handwriting note tracking app. In both apps, new stickers are easy to add. And we expect nothing less. Tape is great for active recall. Cover up items you want to learn and reveal them to check how much you remember. Simple, right? Freenotes has a couple of cute designs if you're into that sort of cuteness. I'll take the boring plain ones in good notes any day. I imagine I would color code them to use green for definitions, red for the hardest questions, that sort of thing. It makes sense, doesn't it? I even like the light highlight that the tape leaves when you reveal your answers in good notes. Versus the line you get with most apps, not just free notes alone. The only feature missing in good notes that you have in free notes is that you can reveal or hide all the tape at once. It won't make me choose it over good notes though. It's definitely my favorite tape. Nothing beats it. It's plain but customizable, which I find very refreshing. So for me, good notes has the best tape feature of all the note-taking apps that we've tried so far. I wish I was audio recording this whole time. I would have had a decent amount of recording by now. But anyway, didn't think of it, doing it now. The first thing I have to check is whether or not free notes can now sync the audio to our notes. And the answer for that is no. So this won't even be a comparison because in 2024, it's as good as not having the feature. Good Notes, on the other hand, syncs your notes, both handwritten and typed. You can also transcribe the audio, which is super helpful. All these features you don't have in Free Notes, so if you need to work with a lot of audio, Good Notes is definitely the way to go. I've been using the lasso tool throughout this video. It's kind of impossible not to use it with all the items we've been playing around with. Both apps have selective lasso tools that let you pick up specific items on the page while ignoring others. And that makes the tool more functional. Good notes, however, currently has the worst bug we have seen in the app that is making selected and deselected items appear and disappear from pages. I'm proud that we managed to capture this a bit earlier on and hope the developers fix this soon because it's really making the app quite dysfunctional. This brings us to the end of this video. Good notes outperformed free notes in most of the tasks that we threw at the apps. I imagine it will only lag more in the next video because GoodNotes has a lot of interesting cards up its sleeve. Can't wait to see how FreeNotes performs then, but we already have our final verdict for this comparison. We'll have to wait though until we have covered everything in the apps um, to make sure that it's definitely the final one. What do you guys think about the two apps? 
which one are you leaning towards so far we hope you guys like this video and that you found it useful give it a thumbs up if you liked it thank you fantastic human for watching see you in the next video